Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Kramer's V for a chi-square test of independence, which is different than for the goodness of fit. For the goodness of fit, I have a separate video on how to get Kramer's V there. This one is used if you have two nominal variables often, and is a measure of the strength of the association. Uh, for the interpretation later on, Cohen has used uh, some, it's possible to look into Cohen's and he has some rule of thumb. It's a little bit tricky to actually work it out. If you look, I think it's on Stack Overflow to explain a bit on how this can actually be done. But in the end, uh, it boils down to a table like this one. And uh, it depends on the, the size of the table, which in this case is represented by the degrees of freedom. And that's actually the degrees of freedom for Kramer's V, not for the chi-square test, which is slightly different. Here it's the minimum no of the number of rows or the number of columns, whichever is smaller, and then minus 1. So if that's, for example, 4, and the Kramer's V is, let's say, 0 0.1, um, then it will fall into this category here, which would classify it as small. So how does this work? Well, let's have a look. If you, by the way, want to find this table, I also have it on my website, on peterstatistics.com, or you can download uh, this Jupyter Notebook, which I have in the uh, description below. So let's have a look at an example of how this works. I'll load the example as a pandas data frame. So first I need to import pandas. If you've never used pandas before, you need to do pip install pandas with the explanation sign. I've installed it already, so I only need to import it, and then I can use read CSV because this is a CSV file, and I'll use head to show the first five records. Um, there is a small warning which can be ignored uh, for the purpose of this example. I'll be using mar1, which is the marital status and the uh, gender field sex, and so let's select those, field 1 and field 2. And to get a quick impression of the data, I can use pandas cross tab and simply feed those two fields in, which gives me a nice little cross table. So, for example, 207 females were never married. Now, to get Kramer's V, we can simply use research pi if you've never used that. pip install research pi, and then import it. And it actually has immediately Kramer's V available, so I have the cross tab and the results. And then research pi cross tab, and then the two fields. I could have done my field one and my field two, and then as a test chi square. Now I'm particularly interested in the results of this, so res. I could have named this also something else, but re res for short for result was useful. And there it is, Kramer's V. Now, like I said, for the classification as a rule of thumb, we also need the degrees of freedom, which is the minimum of the rows and columns. So what I can do is I can use my contingency table I created earlier and the shape will tell me it's rows and columns and therefore I can get the 0 and the 1 element in there and that simply is the rows and the columns. And then minus 1 and min will select the minimum already. Now be careful not to use the cross step here or you can actually but then you have to do minus 2 because the cross step of this cross step will actually also include the total unless I think you can set the totals to be off, but that's an extra parameter. So the degrees of freedom here, I actually had male, female, so 2 minus 1 will be simply 1, which would be the minimum. So then we can look that up uh, in that table from the introduction and find that it will fit in the 0, but under 0 0.10, and it's negligible. That's a hard word to pronounce for a non-native speaker. Um, I could also let Python do this. I will then need Kramer's V. So I have that in my result section here, which is from the uh, pandas. This is actually pandas data frame. So that's going to be 0, 1, 2. So row number 2 and then column 1, uh, sorry, 0 or 1. So it's going to be at uh, location is, uh, 2, comma 1. So that's what I've done here, and that should give me nicely Kramer's V as a separate variable, or as a se separate value. And then I can simply convert that table with using ifs, and then uh, if the degrees of freedom is 1, 2, 3, etc. And then each time um, a nested if with else ifs, and then go over 0 0.10, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, select that from that table, and each time um, the small, medium, large, and this negligible. 
Um, I'm assuming here that if the degrees of uh, freedom is bigger, uh, 5 or higher, that it will always use these. That's a bit of a stretch, but I couldn't find anything else on that. Uh, let's see if it works, and indeed it gives me the same result. So that's kind of it. Uh, if you're really interested, you can download this notebook. I'll go over the side by method as well, where I actually simply go over the entire formula of Kramer's V and then work it out from there. Um, but I think using um, the research pie is actually uh, a little bit easier to do. So um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions below. Thank you for watching.